I'm really proud that we in Newham are running the Tackling Racism, Inequality and Disproportionality programme. We are absolutely and fundamentally committed to this agenda, both at member level, officer level, and for all of our residents. And I'm delighted that we're part of this Race Equality Week, sharing what we're doing and talking about what we plan to do to make this an even greater year for our work in this space. At Newham Council, we have taken really seriously the issue of tackling racism, inequalities and disproportionality. And in doing so, we have spent the last year not just talking about the issues, but also acting. Newham is one of the most ethnically diverse places in this country. But we also know that our residents face some of the worst injustices when it comes to racism and inequality. And it is for this reason that we have set up the TRADE programme I signed up for TRID because I believed it would help bring out the best in our employees. If employees cannot achieve their potential, the organization's value proposition is diminished. When the Sproco Mentoring was launched, I felt it was an opportunity for me to contribute in a special way. Reciprocal Mentoring, however, brought a fresh impetus to my experience. The facilitators encouraged us to lower our guards, develop trust-based relationships, and commit to the program, ensuring genuine presence at all times. The program deployed emotional intelligence in a very practical and contextual way and ensured every participant understood their voice could be heard. We also held a number of time to talk sessions and we used the uh, feedback from those sessions and the, the survey results to hold a number of conversations with our senior leaders. We also recruited a, a number of race equalities champion so that staff could engage with these individuals to talk about their lived experience on a one-to-one -one basis. We also looked at our recruitment practices. We want to, uh, you know, look at what are the opportunities uh, for developing job shadowing schemes and development schemes so that we can, so we can address some of those issues around um, lack of promotion and career development. And uh, looked at, looked hard at Newham's heritage and at who we celebrate through the, the names that our streets have. Um, there was a, a great opportunity came up early on which we worked with partners like the Greater London Authority and, um, and the Royal Darkness Enterprise Zone um, to rename uh, the street outside where the GLA are going to have their new headquarters in Newham. Under the moving on up program whereby um, organisations within the borough and the BTEC, in association with the BTEC and some other organisations, they lay out all this um, courses and different um, initiatives for young black men between the ages of 18 and 24. Worked with businesses as well, haven't we, to yes. get them on board and get them um, signing pledges to That's demonstrate right. their commitment so That's we can right. make sure it really is a, a whole borough and a uh, whole borough initiative. That's Newham has a diverse community and it's very important that um, everybody feels that they can live in harmony, in peace and have a sense of belonging. And I think what I've really um, valued is how much I've learned. And so as someone who doesn't live in Newham, um, learning about Newham's heritage, mm -hmm. learning about all of the things in our, in our past and learning about our, our diverse communities um, uh, who live here today has been really, um, really special for me. And it's kind of brought the program to life because it reminds you what it's all about. It's about the people who live in the borough. It's about their heritage, their history, and really valuing and celebrating that. Well, we want to listen to what the community has to say, and not just listen to what they have to say. It's taking on board what they've said and acting, working in partnership with all the different. Um, departments um, and it's been encouraging to see and be part of the frontline practice and the practitioners and the operational practice demonstrating how they are evidencing the voices of particularly children and young people who are accessing support 
through services through the youth justice system, through through our youth empowerment service and through our care system. The Youth Empowerment Fund as well as part of um, a programme three, which is a unique funding source for young people. So we know that for some children young people the main barrier to them is to accessing activities and organisations and all kinds of opportunities is financial. Coming up on your point around community, there's a real power in that, that community-led approach, mm. isn't there? Um, that's where a lot of trust is as well within yeah. the community, so the, the kind of better we can strengthen that approach together and build trust and openness there, um, I think can only improve the outcomes for the children and young people. And I think that trust that you said we did, and you described that. When we show our residents, our children, our young people, that when they tell us things, we act on it. Yeah. As part of the work that we've done on the TRIB programme this year, I'm really proud of the way that we've engaged through with staff throughout the authority, especially the commissioning group which we've launched, which comes together on a regular basis, to share good practice, to think about how best to commission them and purchase services in the future, and really think about how we can start to make those meaningful impacts and changes in the services that we commission. It's a journey and the first part of that journey has been within our work stream a, a number of really exciting initiatives that we've done and we have the commissioning of compost um, which is a voluntary sector infrastructure organisation that's there to support voluntary community faith groups and individuals to really get to grips with um, what, how we and as a system can support them to deliver their dream projects, to, to work as they want to work, to support their communities, to, to do something and to be part of a wide, thriving, diverse community in Newham. Empowering and energizing. Inclusive. Hopeful. Encouraging. Accommodating. Humble. Inspired. There's still a lot of long way to go. It is, um, as some people say, it's not a sprint, it is a marathon. And an organisation that will absolutely do all that we can to make sure that tackling racism, inequality and disproportionality is at the fore of our culture. Can I encourage you to be part of this programme and enhance the working experience of our people who are at the heart of everything we do. Thank you.